Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. It is the final cut, and as I said, I have a number of short films to review to you. And the short film that I'm bringing to you today is from Germany. Yes, that's right, German, and it's called The Devil of Kreuzberg. And I know I mispronounced that, and I do apologize. But we get the story of a guy who's in love with this girl. They're just they're just a happy couple, man. They're, they're deeply in love, but... At night, he starts having really bad dreams about his girl doing really mean and nasty and brutal things to him. And uh, he's like, he's not liking that too much. He can't get any sleep anymore because these nightmares are so extreme. So he takes the extreme measure of asking his hitman buddy to go take out his girlfriend. Little does he know his girlfriend's on her own mission as she is has to fulfill a family curse uh, that is, uh, well, on her family. And so we see how these two collide in the devil of Kreuzberg. There are few modern horror films out there today that embody the 70s Italian horror as well as the devil of Kreuzberg. I felt like this film was ripped right from the 70s, like it was some lost film reel from there. Uh, the style that Alexander uh, Bakshev, and I, if I mispronounce that again, Apologies, uh, but Alexander really gives the, the he. You can tell he is a fan of these films from the camera angles that we get to the odd scenes to just the way the story plays out. I uh, really embodied that style that made those 70s Italian horror films stand out. I mean, we get some really unusual camera work. You know, you get kind of the zoom, uh, where they play with the zoom a bit, and you get this uh, kind of weird uh, dance scene in here. Uh, no, but not Bollywood type style dance, but still, it, it's very, it's got that kind of artistic flair to it, but it's not going too artistic. Kind of like, you know, those 70s Italian films Films, some of them didn't just enjoyed the feel of it now everybody in here does great I love the acting in here and this premise <laughs> the extreme measure this guy decides to go to in order to help sleep at night I thought was uh, just had a little bit of a humor to it as well bit of a dark humor which this film does have a, a, a little a dark humor to it but it also has an interesting story I like the whole idea of the curse and how they present that angle of the story you know uh, the uh, uh, dream sequences that we have also really harken back to that uh, age of Italian horror and just really the devil of Kreuzberg you can tell they're not just going hey look at us we're being hipsters hey we're being retro we're being retro and this you know they're not doing that at least that's not the feeling that I got from this film the feeling that I got from this film was they wanted to tell a story and they just wanted to tell the story in a specific style and not because that style is hey but more of the fact that they just wanted to tell and that that you know that particular uh, type of uh, use of camera and such. So, really, The Devil of Kreuzberg is worth your time if you can find it somewhere at a festival. I'll leave a link down below as much information as I can. Very interesting, stylistic, uh, short horror film that embodies all those great elements that we love about those 70s Italian horror films. Not a lot of gore, mind you, but just the way the camera work and colors and the scenes and the characters are definitely feel like they're ripped from a different era than the uh, 2010s now, I guess we're in. So check it out if you have. If you have seen The Devil, please, of Kreuzberg, please leave your comments down below. Love to hear your constructive thoughts. Make sure you subscribe, please. I do this because of you. Every view I get just motivates me to keep doing this. I appreciate it so much. Thank you, my movie maniacs. And until next time, remember, keep that ticket stub. Thank you.